Welcome back to the channel. On this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about e-bike sales. And I'm just curious whether the e-bike sales will be affected or not from the issues we've been having lately with pending laws changing on e-bikes depending on what state you're in and uh, I just wonder if this is going to affect sales on e-bikes or not and so I'm going to keep my eye on that I'm just hopeful that it doesn't turn people away from e-bikes because that is not something that we want to see we want to get more people out on bikes and I'm just afraid that when they start putting restrictions or fees for your bike that's just going to turn people right away from wanting to purchase a bike and basically you lose any freedom that you have with your e-bike to me if if they want to implement laws on e-bikes let's just crack down on the for starters anyway uh, on the uh, the crazy riding like I think that would go a long way and I also think um, that younger kids probably shouldn't be riding at least on the road maybe if they're on private property or something like that but on the road because or pedestrian shared path is not good either because especially when you get several kids together they like to show off and that's the time when we start to get accidents happening and we don't need accidents happening I'm not saying that all accidents are caused by or related to a kid but hopefully an adult has A little more experience riding and and hopefully ride that way but that's just my thoughts on bike sales and whether I could see them dropping I absolutely can but I hope not but I just think it's going to happen. So that's some, one of the things I'm going to be monitoring or keeping an eye on over the course of the next few years. Let me know in the 
comments below what you think e-bike sales and where do you think they're gonna go here in 2024 and say 2025 as well I know we're kind of predicting into the future but maybe you're thinking the same as myself and these bike laws that they are proposing to implement and let's face it there's gonna be more and more of these over the course of the next several months if you don't have a new law for e-bikes in your area you can bet one's gonna come but I really don't I really hope that it doesn't affect people buying an e-bike because we want to see more people like I said out on an e-bike we don't want to turn people away, turn them right off of buying them and enjoying them. And if you've never ridden an e-bike before, once you get on one and, and ride it, test it, first time, you're going to be hooked. Now I was already a bike fan before I got my first electric bike, but when I got my first electric bike, which was the Rad Rover 4. I was hooked immediately. And then you want another one and another one and another one. And it's like, okay, we got to slow this down. Oh, well, they're just a lot of fun. And it gets a lot of people out on bikes that otherwise wouldn't be able to because the assistance of the motor to help you pedal, or if you're unable to pedal, you have the throttle that you can use for getting you around. Well, that's going to do it for this video as I wanted to get a ride in here in between the raindrops. We've had lots of rain and there's a little break right now. If you like this video go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel just hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment, go ahead and leave that in the comments below, whether it be on this video or any other video. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.